Setting up your risk templates if using a simulation account to replicate your live trading limits with your broker is very important. We're going to show you what you should be doing if you plan on using a demo or simulation account. This can come in quite handy when testing strategies, any sort of automated testing or ETM strategies. A risk template is going to define what your maximum risk per instrument or account would be. So setting your intraday margin or your maintenance margin, perhaps even your maximum order sizes, etc. These are going to be limits that your broker already has that you need to now apply to your simulation or demo accounts to get a more real life sort of situation. So how do we set this all up? So there is a two-step process for this. The first is going to be creating a risk template. The second is going to be taking that template and applying it to a trading account. So this is going to be for a simulation or a demo account that you will be applying it to because with a live account, your broker already has these limits set. This way you can have a different risk template for different simulation or demo accounts. Let's first set up a risk template. Open up your NinjaTrader 8 control center window and at the top of the menu, click the tools button. After that, scroll down to where it says risk. And by default, there's gonna be a NinjaTrader brokerage default, but we're gonna create our own by clicking add in the bottom of the template section. So I'm gonna call this one simulated account. You can name it whatever broker account you might have. And we'll use this one on a demo account. Okay, so if you're not sure how to set up demo accounts, be sure to check out the video in the description below about setting up your own simulation or demo account. And now for the somewhat tedious part, we're gonna add in instruments one by one, depending on how many instruments we trade. Uh, this could take a long time or it could be actually quick and painless. So to demo this, we're going to use the ES futures contract in the instrument window. We can search for it or we can just type it into the instrument window. Now we can set the buy and sell margin levels as well as our initial margin and maintenance margin. If you don't know what these are, you can send an email to your broker and you can ask them. Uh, they'll be able to tell you. But the maximum order size and position size can also be set here. And if any of these terms do not sound familiar, we're gonna explain them here in about 10 to 20 seconds. The buy and sell intraday margin is how much is required in your account to hold the position. So for example, if you had 100K in your account and you place $10,000 uh, future contract and the margin requirement is 10% of that instrument, then you have to hold $1,000 in cash in your account and that will be reserved. Now if the value of that instrument drops where only your, your basically your uh, $1,000 would be left, your margin, then that's what they call margin calling your position gets liquidated. So some brokers require you to have an initial margin on the account and then further, they might require you to have a maintenance margin level, okay? Or they might have maintenance and not an initial. So the initial one is when you deposit your funds, what is gonna be required by your broker to hold on to a certain percentage. And then your maintenance margin is gonna be per instrument. Now, just a little FYI, uh, for futures, the minimum margin is 25% of the value of the instrument. That means that brokers have to maintain that as a minimum, uh, if not higher. Okay, so be sure to check with your broker what the values are for you, as this can also sometimes be between the ranges of 30 and 40%. The last section should be pretty easy. Okay, the maximum order size when you place your trade and your maximum position size. Okay, so for example, your maximum position size might be six contracts. Then you can have a limit of two contracts for the maximum order size, and that would be allowed to place three trades uh, on that uh, one instrument for the six contract maximum. So we'll press OK twice to get out of this and we are going to hit your accounts tab. Now you can see a list of your accounts here and then we're gonna select the simulation account you plan to work with by right clicking on it. Now right click on it and go to edit account. Okay, in this list, second from the bottom, you'll have a risk section box. Okay, click that down arrow there and select your risk template to apply it to this account. 
So that's pretty much it. Now you might want to disconnect from your simulated account if you were connected to it and reconnect as well to save yourself a bit of problem and make sure that this risk template gets applied. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set a trade for seven contracts on the ES, which is above my maximum that I put in there of six. And you're going to see what happens when I get denied. There you go. Now risk templates uh, can only be used on a demo account because they're actually um, being handled by the broker on a live account. So if you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two, slap that like button. We always appreciate it and love to hear from you. So any questions that you might have, put those in the question box below. Also, we have two free tools for NT8, one that draws news events on your charts and the other one puts a price line at your bid and ask prices and they're both totally free. You can get them at xabcdtrading.com and look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.